hey guys in this amazing video we will going to teach you how you can install cs picture on your mac step by step okay so if you're interested so make sure that you watch the complete video don't miss any single step and this is a complete latest video how to install cs picture on mac so let's see how you can get the cx picture installed on your mac so guys all you need to do is to type this link okay first of all my dash link dot in slash cross over everything is small so the very first step will be to get the cr crossover in case you don't have so in my case i already have got the crossover so i will just go and sign into my account and once you have you can just go to your downloads and you can just download the copy of the crossover okay so let's say this is uh, once so i will simply tap on it and it will automatically going to download in few seconds so this will be the first step then the second step will be to go to your you know mac download folder and this is the place where you will see something known as crossover so all you need to do is to install that okay so just double click on it and boom let's wait for it to get installed awesome right so now you can simply uh, open uh, this double tap on it and you can simply open it and you can move this to application folder so it will always be available inside the application folder so allow it and uh, don't check and if you have the license so you can uh, click on unlock with purchase info but let's say uh, in my case or, or you can even buy it or you can even try their free trial okay so in my case i already purchased it so i will simply going to click on you know this button so i will click on unlock and whatever account where you have purchased it so just put that account email id and password and then click on unlock button so that's it then it will open it now you simply have to just close uh, this crossover okay and uh, the thing is that that this uh, application is uh, here so you can simply uh, delete it uh, if you uh, want to okay uh, that is what you can do because uh, the crossover will be you know available for you here in your application okay that's it now just uh, close it okay so you can anytime open it awesome here so everything is working fine so just uh, uh, close it okay now what we need to do is to search open uh, a new tab and just search for you know uh, cv uh, cx patcher okay so you can uh, see this cx patcher just uh, go over here and click on the release option here and you will see the cx uh, patcher okay the latest one whatever you see the latest one just download it so i will just simply going to download this part and you can see in just few seconds it will going to get download you also have to install it on your system okay let's wait boom done just again go to your same download folder open the cx patcher awesome you can delete the zip file of it and if you want you can just move your uh, C, uh, cx patcher to your app application and under your application you will see the cx patcher here just double click on it click on ok button awesome okay so that's uh, how it works now just cross it now just open your cx patcher by the way uh, you can see over here just open it or just uh, open it in the finder okay uh, like this now in case you know if it doesn't open so you can just go to your settings uh, and just go to your uh, wait uh, your privacy and security and just scroll down okay and you will see this uh, showing under your privacy and security it will show you this message so you just need to click on this open anyway okay so just click on 
open anyway and just put your mac password and boom now it got open now here you will going to see it will tell you that please uh, you have to write this sentence exactly in this box okay so it is saying i will not ask code wares for support or refund so this text you need to put uh, over here so i will just going to put this i will uh, not ask code viewers for support or refund that's it click on agree and proceed now this is what it is now just open your finder again go to your application now just look for the cro crossover this is the crossover you have to simply you know drag your crossover application over here and then uh, you need to just do first uh, this thing just drag it over here like this and then it will show you the continue button so click on the continue awesome it's done now if you will going to notice here in your uh, finder application you will going to have two crossover crossover paste and normal crossover so now you always have to go to this crossover paste and you have to open this particular one so th that's what we need to do close the cx patcher okay and now just open your let's say crossover patch so that's how you can install it and now uh, you can just go with this theme let's say or you can just simply go ahead and install uh, the you know uh, steam okay if you uh, want to so that's uh, how easy it is so this is over here okay so uh, first uh, just uh, make sure that you just go back okay and you have to make sure that you open this crossover patch one okay so you need to install this particular thing because this is uh, what uh, we wanted and if you have uh, some other bottle so let's say you can um, simply let's say delete anything you if you have okay so i will going to do that okay now just make sure again i am saying just make sure that you uh, close the crossover okay just for a safe side and just open the crossover paste one again okay awesome so just uh, click on the install option and just search for steam that's it and click on install button now once it will install uh, the steam for you so uh, make sure that in the background it will show you plenty of you know sort of a notifications uh, okay uh, so in case if it will show all the notifications so you just need to you know start uh, or you need to accept the notifications so right now you can see no notifications are showing but like this you can see just accept it okay so same you can do over here and again if some new notifications will show so just be chill these things are normal okay just wait for it don't worry everything is good and going safe just uh, agree it and install it so then only you know your steam will proceed uh, to further download it so you can see everything is installing uh, on the system awesome let's wait click on i agree install awesome close it let's wait for full, a few more uh, seconds okay so almost you know it's about to done so this is what you need to do just allow all the permissions on your mac so that's uh, what uh, exactly you need to do click on it select your language install it awesome you can finish it and boom awesome everything is done and it is even updating this theme so it will not going to take uh, too much time for it okay so this is what it is so the very first thing is the graphics so you can test the graphics basically i believe dxvk uh, works some works on some game on some games dxmt work so all you need to do is select uh, the options okay uh, which you want to let's say for example let's say if you search for let's say battlefield battlefield let's say four sorry four 
to ROS over. Just search for it. And if you will going to see this Apple Gaming Wiki, let's say for example, it says that ROS over uh, Battlefield 4 works perfect. Okay, this was the last update. Uh, so if you go with the CX patcher, so which we have already installed, but if you select DXVK, so here is DXVK. Okay, so this is where the uh, battlefield will you know work perfectly. That's it. So that's how you can install it. After it will going to get a update. Okay, that means uh, at the back end, if uh, the updates get, just uh, update it. Open the Steam and check for the games you want to play so this is the tutorial about how you can install okay uh, patcher uh, on your mac okay or i can say on your crossover so you can see that uh, after you have up updating okay so you can see the updates uh, has been done so i just open the steam and that's uh, how your steam is so it will tell you to log into your account so just do that and you can check all your games and whatever games you you want to play and support with cx patcher you can try them out okay so that's how we have learned or taught you how you can install cs patcher on your mac uh, 